Time now for the evening rush. A border funding bill providing funding to communities helping migrants is headed to the president's desk. The measure provides about $4.6 billion for border security. The bill includes $30 million to reimburse border communities that have helped asylum seekers. That includes communities here in New Mexico. Investigators are sifting through evidence after raiding the Las Vegas mayor's home and city hall offices. The mayor's boyfriend got a flooring contract at city hall with a bid investigators believe was rigged by the mayor. Investigators say tipsters and city government came forward suspecting the mayor leaked bidding information to her boyfriend before he secured it. A former city employee is causing outrage for what she posted on social media and a warning the following images are disturbing. Yesterday, KRQE shared this story to Facebook showing an immigrant father and daughter dead after trying to cross the Rio Grande. Former Corporal Catherine Waite with the city's Animal Welfare Department commented saying, oh well, and that outraged many. Your weather headlines for tomorrow look similar to today. We're going to see more scattered storms out there. Better storm coverage, though, farther to the west, and the storms will continue over the weekend, especially centering over the mountains. Work on Lead Avenue expected to be completed by mid to late July. You can see drivers this morning squeezed into one lane along Lead, starting at Broadway. The Water Authority is replacing a sewer line and says they need that specific intersection to complete the work. We are waiting to learn more about what led up to a murder in southwest Albuquerque. Bernalillo County deputies say they discovered two people with gunshot wounds and found a third person dead on scene. This happened near 2nd Street in Rio Bravo. The two were rushed to the hospital. No word on the victim's identity or their conditions. Tonight, the Water Authority wants the public to weigh in on what to do with land where a massive water tank has been sitting empty for years. The Water Authority says the San Jose Reservoir off Broadway and San Jose went out of service because it was served by a well that had groundwater contamination. The public is weighing it in a meeting right now. Happening in a few minutes, a memorial is set to begin for the mother and daughter slain in their home. Police say Laura and Shanta Hanish were killed by Shanta's ex-boyfriend, Jesus Cartagena, at their Knob Hill home last week. Tonight at 7, a memorial service is being held at Hyde Park by friends and Shanta's former teachers at Amy Bill High School. Right now, the United States Supreme Court is asking for more information before making a decision on a citizenship question on the 2020 census. That question, are you a U.S. citizen? The Supreme Court blocked that question from the 2020 census for now. The high court said the agency's explanation for adding that question was inadequate. Also today, the Supreme Court making a decision on gerrymandering. They are leaving the issue up to the states. The judge is ruling five to four that the federal courts do not have a role to play when it comes to gerrymandering. That's when congressional maps are drawn to benefit one party over the other. People in Santa Fe will now be able to rent out their guest houses or casitas on their property. The city council approved that measure. The decision amends the city code to allow two rental homes on one property. It also eliminates a requirement that owners live on the properties. Firefighters still working to get the Pine Lodge fire under control near Capitan. Officials just giving an update. Right now, the fire is 11% contained. Fire officials say rain helped firefighters out yesterday. Overnight, the fire didn't grow much, holding at about 12,000 acres. So far, two cabins and a car have burned. Metro threat index for Friday stays around a five. We're going to see essentially the chance for scattered storms and very gusty winds. People in New Mexico believe the artist who created the flag for Wichita, Kansas, just tweaked the Zia. The difference, their flag only has three rays extending from its sun and a circle in the middle. And it's a symbol called a hoag, which means a permanent home. The Wichita flag has been flying since 1937, created more than a decade after the New Mexico flag. For six weeks, teachers will be reading at parks across the city. And today's story time in the park got a special surprise. Albuquerque Isotopes players DJ Johnson and Brian Mundell came out to read to the kids. It's all part of an APS Title I Family Engagement Initiative that provides reading sessions at parks all across the metro. A new cancer center is helping people at the Navajo Nation. The Tuba City Regional Health Care Corps in northeastern Arizona is welcoming its first patients. Patients previously had to get a referral to be seen elsewhere, often an hour or more from home. There are two oncologists that work at the facility. New Mexico senior game athletes can celebrate after winning the most medals at the senior games. As the games ended, it appeared California was in the lead, but after adding up all the medals, New Mexico had the most with 681. 
followed by California with 645 medals.